Hello everyone, FPS Chazza here. Welcome back to uh, the, the Satellite Hunt, I think that's what it's called, something like that. <laughs> so we have ourselves moving, well we're not moving towards the satellite right now, we're going this way. We have an LA going about 15 knots, and uh, another LA over here going 5 knots, and they both seem to be heading straight for the satellite. They're out of Schval range, that is what this circle dictates, so I'm going to engage them. Ooh! Oh, it's icy. I can't do that. I was going to, like, launch them with uh, stallions, but no, there's ice. That won't work. So I'm going to launch at them with 65 centimeters just to try and drive them all so I can get in there. Uh, might be expecting some, uh, some counter shots here, but we will see. Um, if one of them counter shots, counter shoots, I'm pretty confident I can sidestep that. If both of them do, that's going to be trickier. If both counter shot, it might be the best way to run might be the south. Honestly, if I run north, I'm going to be like too close to their search cones. So if they both counter shoot me. I'm going to have to run south. I think get beneath the layer, drop some countermeasures here, and run south. Um, but yeah, we will see. We will see. This guy might counter shoot. This guy maybe not as much. But I'm not sure. Okay, so what twos are we dealing with? We're dealing with internal one and two. Internal one and two. So let's put SO2 and internal one. That's the front and internal two. I don't really care. I know that some, I'm, on the LA ones, I tend to care which side the wire comes out of, but these tubes are all like out the front. It doesn't really matter as much to me. All right, so our course is there. We're kind of almost splitting them in two. I'm pretty, just about pretty confident on their solutions here. Um, this guy, there's a little more potential for variation in this guy's solution because he's kind of heading right for me. But I don't know. Around there somewhere, I feel pretty confident about Sierra 2. I'm pretty good about his solution there. I had that whole spiel about these lines coming close together and stuff. Which might make me want to actually... Mm, it's right around here. It's like in here somewhere really close. Somewhere like that. So that's a pretty good guesstimate. I'm not in squall range for him either. So both these guys are going to have to... Uh... So that's for CR4. Run to enable 9,144 yards. CR2. Or meters. Same same thing for CR2. Uh, go a little further before you turn on, please. You can go 15,000 meters. That's good for me. Depth. Uh, get a little lower. Get a little lower. Don't want to run into the ice. Uh, full speed. Full speed is fine. Ceiling, yeah, leave that at that. I've done that before. Floor, as deep as you'll go. It's fine. Don't want to limit yourselves to that. That would suck. All right, that's for CR2, CR4 presets. Uh, you can do that. I guess this maybe more like 13,000 yards is kind of coming right for us. It's coming right for us. Speed, 50. Ceiling, yeah. As deep as you can go. I guess 910 meters is as deep as it goes. Okay, very well. So let's go ahead and uh, equalize these bad boys and open them up. And we're going to launch these pups in their direction just to get them running so we can get closer because I'm not trying to keep going any further. Give them more time to get the jump on me. It's not sound like a good plan to me. So fire one. Launch tube one. Yes, Captain. And fire too. I don't really need a stagger them, but felt like it. <laughs> don't close those doors, these are not squalls. I wanted to try and close that little button, it's annoying me, but I guess I'll just leave it there. So we got our torps going out. Each going to their respective target. And uh, I might turn a little more northerly here, I'm not sure just yet. So our torps are coming up on the screen pretty big. Big and noisy. Um, no one realizes they're coming to them yet, but they will very soon. I expect CR4 to start choosing it up any second now. I'm also still not really sure if they're above or below the layer yet, so they might not even potentially hear it if they are below the layer. Because I was picking these guys up earlier when the toad was at full length, and I was, after I reeled it back in to a certain point, I wasn't seeing them anymore, so I have some reason to believe they are below the layer. 
but that won't be a problem once those torps get close enough because of critical angle and all that kind of stuff fiber optics things that I've yet to talk about in my tutorial so CR4 still chilling CR2 still chilling so they might not hear these torps they they might be beneath the layer so my torps might get the jump on these guys then which would be nice indeed all right so I I might start heading for the satellite now when did I order one knot of speed I don't know why is it saying one knots go to four knots we'll go to four set revolutions for four knots propulsion I and I'm gonna turn north Ruder left steer course zero zero one so yes we're gonna do that right now back up to four knots already anyone running yet no I think they're beneath the layer don't think they're hearing my torps right now they would normally be running at this point those torps are heading right for them torp one torp two not gonna time lapse I don't think it's gonna take about 12 minutes for torp two to get out to where Sierra two is right now but Sierra two is gonna start running so it's gonna be longer than that for the strike or impact if impact happens um, so we got to be progressive on this front and monitor what they're doing but yeah Sierra 2 is just chilling like a villain so is Sierra 4 that solution might be off a little bit I might want to bring this in a little bit but not too much adjustment it's pretty good Sierra 2 I'm like stone cold about that that's a pretty solid solution easily plus or minus a nautical mile there I'm pretty sure it's tighter than that but not can't always be too terribly sure I'm, I'm pretty sure of it it's pretty it's pretty tight in there it's about it's about what it could be I have his speed locked down so I know what he's doing pretty well there all right so yeah now we're just playing playing the waiting game I might speed it up a little bit but I don't want to get if someone launches on me I want to lose like 40 seconds because I had it at 16 times speed so four times speed is about it's good that's fine that's not terrible four times speed there takes 15 seconds to do a minute all right anyone running yet nope oh Sierra 4 Sierra 4 turned tail and ran he picked up the torp he is running around that must be a recent development haven't gotten any kind of new new data there okay that's oh wait whoa what so am I seeing someone else to the north there because that's not moving Oh, dude, that's the uh, that's the, this is the satellite. Control acoustics. That is what I'm picking. That's the satellite. Three, three, Straight two. and narrow. Designated Sierra six. Uh, yeah, I'm picking up the satellite there. That's the satellite. Okay. Still not seeing any new data on Sierra four yet. Uh, last ten minutes. Which is interesting because he's he's flanking it now. He's going thirty-two knots. Uh, what's Sierra two up to? Still chilling. Sierra two is running. Sierra two is now running as well. At thirty, so let's uh take that there. Say due west at thirty-two knots. Thirty-two knots. Enter that solution in. Bonk. So that's what he's doing. I'm just gonna do the same with Sierra four. Just turn him around. Turn around. Uh, Pull him right about there. Make him run about the other way. 32 knots. And enter that solution. So that's the best way to do that. Is just as soon as you know that they're running, just instantly just assume a course of straight away from your torpedo. And, uh, you know, at whatever speed it was saying. So it's. Whether these guys hit or not, it's accomplishing my objective of getting them away from the satellite while I get in closer. So I'm going to go to six knots and uh, Set revolutions for six knots. change course to do satellite. About 331, I think. So we're going to do that. 331. We're just going to head straight for the satellite. Left, At this speed, it's going to take a while three, to get there. One. Steering guy. A while. Yeah, like over like three hours. <laughs> So we're going to be going faster at some point. All right. 
solutions. What are you guys doing? Not sure what those solutions are doing. Okay, this solution is now different. Now kind of supporting my running away. CR2 solution still not really supporting that, but we'll, we'll, we'll take it. It's pretty probably pretty good there, pretty good guess. Our torps go in. When is the enable range for this guy? Let's go ahead and check that. Sierra 2, enabling a 13,000 meters. And I don't think this outputs to meters, so it's about six and a half nautical miles. Oh, so that, so this torp is should be active any second now, just about any second. This guy's gonna go active. Not sure if I want him to go active that soon. I might pre-enable him, let him run a little longer, but not sure yet on that front. Uh, this torp's gonna need a little adjustment, I think. Okay, not not. Not hasn't enabled yet very well. It's fine. Uh, meters are longer than yards, so it's going to be a little longer than six and a half nautical miles. But yes, we are moving towards this satellite as these guys are running away. Running away! Hopefully, I didn't overload the mic there. Don't worry about that. Looks like I rapidly changed the torpedo like it's about to hit me, but that's just a toad straightening out. <laughs> Countermeasure. Looks like there might be a countermeasure off that way, too. There's a definitely a countermeasure off this way. Torp hasn't enabled yet. It's always good to watch this, because they tend to slow down once the torp, like, misses them. Whoa, Sierra 4 is getting really quiet, really quick. All right, I might turn this bad boy. Well... Let's see. Oh, shit. He's slowing down. Torp might have missed him. That Torp might be going for a countermeasure. Alright, so I'm going to pre-enable it. I don't want him to go for a countermeasure. Pre-enable. Go back to your previous course, and we'll see if he speeds up again in response to that. He's now holding... Back down at like 14 knots. CR2 is still going crazy. Because it's, it's hard to know where these countermeasures are out there. But I want to get these guys running out here. Get them running good. So my torps come for them now. It's a little too much that way. 263 will work. CR4, are you back to running? Yep, you are. Okay. Yeah, that Torp was going for a countermeasure. I'm going to adjust him a little bit. Come off to the right a little bit. Come off to the stab it a little bit there. Gonna wait a little bit longer to turn him on. Want him to get past that countermeasure. Doesn't do me any good if he goes for a countermeasure there. When is uh, tube 1 enabling? 15,000. Okay, he's enabled. Looks like he might be past the countermeasure or heading right for it. I'm not sure which. So Sierra 4 is back to full length. 33 knots. I had it at 32. 33 is good enough. Okay, like a little bit longer here, and then I'm going to enable this guy. Wow, we're already at 14 minutes. Okay. So yeah, we're, we're going. We're moving. Ooh. Ah. E. Uh, I don't want the torp to go past. It's the last thing I want is to turn on. I want the torp to go because he's like slowing down dead dead oh wait that's no that's CR2 shit that's CR2 that's slowing down um CR2 is slowing down CR2 is speeding up okay that's good fine we'll, we'll take that then let those guys do their thing okay here we are heading off to the heading off to the zone now baby so uh whatever so whatever for CR6, since it's not moving, wherever it intersects is where it is. So that's, well, you know, I'm not going to see him now because he's in my baffles. My toad baffles, but yeah. Okay. We go for the forward looking. Nothing on the upward. I guess I'm too deep. Forward is blank. Very well. All right, these guys are off and running. So yeah, they're both a flank. Makes me think I got some uh, some good locks, so we can. Let me. I haven't looked at these solutions. Let's check them out. What do we got? 
Okay, you seem to be a little, a little more further down than I may have thought. Hmm. This torp could be very close. Could be a lot closer to that sub than I thought. Because that solution and where I think that torp is are not really lining up. Um, zoom out. But it's hard. It's hard. It's 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 hard to judge with this data. It can be finicky. No, it's definitely further out than that, as to where like these people really are. They're both flanking it. They're still both juicing it. CR two looks to be a little more like that. Maybe might be a little closer in, but I'm not sure. They're both still running at flank, which is always a good sign. I mean, they're, they're freaking bugging out. I'm getting closer, and they're running away. It would have been cool for this torp to approach from, like, the north and then turn south, but then you really have to know the range on the guy you're going after at that point. That's kind of a tricky one if they don't go wise to what you're doing there. Yeah, they're still both running, which is always a good sign. Never really know how they kind of figure out that the torque isn't locked onto them when they're in flank and can't hear anything, but it's one of those things you can kind of exploit because it's programmed in. All right. Yeah, I thought I might have been speed lapsing this more, but I think I'm comfortable with what's going on right now. So there's my torp, and there's the sub a little further up than my torp, so I'm afraid my torp might be heading for a countermeasure. CR4, CR2. I am not sure. I, I hear the countermeasure, and then there's the torp. But I'm not sure I would see the counter... I don't think the countermeasure outputs a frequency. Are those frequencies both, like, 65 centimeter frequencies right there? I suppose so. Yeah, it seems we'll we'll find out soon enough based on what he does. They're both running the flank still. Thirty-three here, thirty-three there. Yeah, they're both both LAs, I think. All right, what a, what a, what a, we can look at the history of the tour to try and get a sense of what it's doing. Is this guy even enabled? Yeah, he is. Okay, he's going to something. It's always tricky once countermeasures get in the mix here, but hey, they're displacing a lot. I got him five nautical miles out of where he was. This guy's about the same, of five nautical miles out of where he was too. I can hear that torp. Surprisingly, it's really loud. Very close into that solution. Ooh, he's turning. He's turning into something here. Not snaking. Uh, I don't think he's snaking. He, he, oh, he might be. Might be snaking. Sir Four seems to think he's not really coming after him anymore. Let's uh, let's do this. Let us pre a new bill. I'm gonna turn you hard south like southwest almost, and then turn you back on and see what happens. Oh, that seemed to work. That seemed to get it. <laughs> He's finding something now. He's going down. Oh, shit. Damn, that was a little kink right there. Holy crap. I don't want my speakers to go because something might blow up over there soon. CR2 is still running. He might have just hit a countermeasure. They might now be heading towards that that sub there. I think I'm hearing the base of a sub. I'm definitely hearing the base of a sub. We're going to get a hit here soon, I think. Oh, yeah, I hear it. I hear it. Oh, I'm just hearing that solution. Duh. I hate when that happens. You're like, oh, I can hear it. Because, like, the way it's set up, you can hear, like, the actual object if it gets close enough to it. So I always think that's happening when I'm really seeing. Okay, CR4 is still chilling. 
Sierra 2 thinks he's now dodged my torp. This torp, it seems to be snaking now. It seems like it almost had something, but then missed it. Okay, Sierra 2 is going back up to, up to speed. They sometimes might, oh, this guy just had like a huge course change here and going on. Um, might be snaking now. Maybe not. Sierra 4 is still chilling at 15. I may have missed. This guy's doing something crazy, going after something. I don't know what. I know I need to stop this video, but I don't want to. I want to freaking get a hit on someone. <laughs> Sierra 2 is back to flying Sierra 4. Still chilling at 14 knots. <clears throat> what are you doing, Sierra 4? What are you doing? It's a good question. Okay, well, now you're doing this. You're doing this now. I don't think these last data points are for that, but now you're kind of doing something like this. I don't know. All right, now this guy's snaking, so let's pre enable him again. I'm going to turn him back to the northeast about like. Zero seven zero or something like that. Turn him back on. Oh man, look at that. Yeah, okay. Um, I think that might just be like enable depth or something like that. I don't know if that's okay. Sierra Four is now juicing it back up. We may have reacquired here. Sometimes it works to fidget this around. So I always want to, always want to keep your wires going. Uh, this guy over here may have something. Let's look at the broadband. Okay, see, there's your sub, there's your torp. You can see they're they're far apart. Over here, they're they're more or less one and the same, which means we're probably good on that front. Um, yeah, torp here is moving up on Sierra Four. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna have to stop. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. I'm gonna pause it so we don't miss anything. See you guys then. Have a good one. Good hunting.